This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxin, Nicole, Terry, Hollow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus, Rex, Lunaris, Galaxia, Maya, Novastar, Annie, Tori, Ariel, Bolchi, Bree, Zael, Jenny, Beastie, Leah, Arlo, Lena, Daddy, Marcella, Aaliyah, Holly, Diana, Molly, Syke, Els, Zoe, Elsie, Louie, Belette, Bruidar, Ariana, Hallowed, and Allison. If you'd like to support this channel and get some pretty nifty perks such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. Hey. No, actually. I kind of figured you'd be here. Well, one, uh, I am aware that this is the first party that we've thrown in a while, and I know who my roommates are, and I am aware that they throw the best parties. So I'm not really surprised that anybody could come. Also... I knew you were coming because Ryan told me that Carly and you were coming with your group. Yeah, no, I mean, I can't. Well, it's a free country. I'm not going to throw you out of the house. That would be kind of rude and ridiculous. Well, also, uh, you know, simultaneously, I know who you are as a person pretty well by this point, I think. And um, I knew how hard they were going to go on a return party, which is why I'm here. And I figured that once you saw how hard they'd go on a return party, you would probably try and find your way to a quiet place in the house and you know that there's no safer space than my room probably hoping that i wouldn't end up being there but here i am and so here you are no no you don't have to listen i'm if, if anyone is aware of how overwhelming it can be out there, it's it's definitely me. And it would be incredibly rude of me to push you away at this point in time. So I'm not gonna do that. I wouldn't do that. Uh, I care about you a lot. And I cannot guarantee that this place won't get a little bit wild. Like, pretty wild. I told them to abstain from doing any... Of the, I said my only rule was for them to abstain from doing anything heinous. Like, in public view, but... Exactly. Exactly. So, do you want to stop standing awkwardly by the door? And come sit down? I am a hundred and ten percent sure that you do you, you listen we are both grown adults uh, who have invested a lot of time 
and energy into each other and it would be incredibly rude of me to say to turn you away please just come in sit wherever you want it's it's too it takes too much energy to constantly be nervous about what the other person is feeling or thinking i think especially in a scenario like this where we should be uh, comfortable with each other Yeah, well, uh, weeks and months of processing and introspection will do that to you, I think. But hey, we don't have to talk about that. We can talk about it if you want to, but we don't have to talk about that. We can talk about just everything or nothing at all. We can just sit here also. Really, whatever will make you the most comfortable. Oh, I was sad. I was sad for a while. I was like really, really sad. Like I got why. I understood it. I'm not blind. But that that wouldn't prevent me from being sad that the situation played out like it did. But like I said, I've done a lot of introspection and I uh, kind of just uh, came to my own conclusion. And that's really been helping me a lot these past, probably like this, pro probably like this past month ish. Do you really want to know? Because uh, I don't want you to think that I'm being presumptuous or anything like that. Okay. My, 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 the, the only way I'm able to be how I am right now around you is I, uh, there's no denying we can look each other in the eyes and like, hide under layers of like sarcasm and all like just a bunch of like negative emotions but there's no denying that we mean a lot to each other and not meant we mean a lot to each other and there is a connection that the two of us have that is far beyond what we really even understand. And because the two of us have that connection, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And if it's not going to happen, it's not. I know, I know it sounds simple and a little bit silly, but it, it's really just kind of the motto I've been going by. I understand where you were when you made that decision. And I still love you regardless. And I still care about you regardless. And if it's meant to work out the way that I want it to work out, I hope it'll work out, then it will. But if it doesn't, then it's not like we don't have an abundance of great memories from, you know, everything. Yeah, it's weird. I've, I've, I think I've matured, so it's nice to hear you say that. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna say it was a wake up call to get my act together because I kind of knew that I had to beforehand. And from my own, like looking at myself, not from us, but I won't lie. It was, it was kind of a catalyst. Maybe it got me on the path to really take action as opposed to just looking at myself and 
being disappointed. Yeah, but um, enough about me. How are you? Really? I hope this is okay to say, but I'm very uh, sorry to hear that. I don't know. I, 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 once again, I didn't want you to jump to any conclusions about why I said that, and because you know when, af, you know when when in in the post breakup of a, a couple and someone the one says to the other, I haven't been feeling well, and you say, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I don't. <laughs> it's it's a it's it, as much as you may think I have uh, matured, I still do have. A little bit, I, I get really nervous navigating around complicated dynamics that I haven't already previously thought of. Because I have thought of that moment a lot, honestly. I've thought of the moment when we would meet again and talk again and... I didn't have anything rehearsed or planned out, but I knew how I felt and I knew how I wanted to verbalize that. But I don't think I necessarily planned on hearing you say that you weren't in a good place either. <laughs> uh... Well, I definitely didn't plan on that either, actually, at all. I did not plan on you telling me that. That's, 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 that, that sure is a piece of information, huh? I'm going to ask you a question. And this is a question that you can refuse. And if it makes you uncomfortable, you can leave the room right now. And I will not blame you. And I will wish you a good rest of however long it is until we see each other again. But I can tell that you're a little bit uncomfortable. And I think it's partially because of the situation we're in right now. And I think it's partially because of the party, but I do know you like the back of my hand, and I know part of your uh, in and outs is that you feel much more comfortable and comforted when you are being held. And I have a bed right here, and if you would like to uh, cuddle, and may you think that would maybe help you breathe a little bit easier and maybe relax. I would be honored to uh, provide that for you. I am. I'm, I'm being. I'm being really serious right now. Um, maybe there's some extra motivation from what I said. Previously, if you caught on to that, but the main thing is that I care about you and I hate seeing you uncomfortable. And I want this experience to be as good for you as it possibly can, or as relaxing, or just as enjoyable, I guess, as it possibly can be. So if you would like to. Well, I'm glad to see that the eagerness for cuddles, regardless of the situation, is still omnipresent for you. So, um, I should ask before we do it, is there any specific guidelines you would like for me to abide to um, uh, because of the situation? Do you, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I am. 
Well, I, ha I have to ask. Things are different now, and I don't want to mistake any sort of consent. I don't want, I don't want, like I said, if I just barreled in here in our normal cuddling position without asking your permission first, and that made you uncomfortable, I, I wouldn't feel good about myself at all. You can ask me anything. It's a Reddit AMA. No, I'm joking. It's gross. No, it's not. It's not. It's not gross. I'm. I don't know. Well, you know, like the usual stereotype of redditors. That's not important right now. What's important is you were going to ask me a question. You really no. Um, if anyone needs to feel embarrassed right now, it's probably me. Uh, so you don't need to feel embarrassed at all. You you know that no matter what you do, unless you admit to something really <laughs> bonkers, I won't... It won't change my opinion of who you are and what I think about you. That's a, that, is, that is a question. That's definitely a question. I would have a hard time answering this before, but once again, I've, I've kind of molded myself into a person who believes that there's no point wasting time. There's no point in skirting around things. So yeah, I do. I did. I I was really hoping that you would be here tonight. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Obviously, I have a potential situation in my head that would be ideal. But honestly, I just wanted to see you and make sure that you were okay. No no ulterior motives. I promise. You can't just drop a bomb on me like that. I don't think that's necessarily very fair. Because. That's a, that's a, I don't know. How am I supposed to say no to that really? But like, I have to ask you a question, and I'm not trying to ruin the moment or the mood, but um, uh, I, I have really like reckoned with myself, uh, and part of it is setting boundaries on what I'm comfortable with. I'm aware that I have put you in a situation that you are super comfortable in. And I want to know if you wanting to kiss me is because of this situation you are just feeling super comfortable in, or is it because you actually, and I, oh man, this, I, oh, okay, you can say it, you can say it, you can say it, it'll come out of your mouth and you can say it. Is it because you actually, like, miss me and have interest in, oh God, possibly rekindling something together? Oh, I'm, um, I, I, no, 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 it's not bad. I just, uh. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting s such a, like, like intense response. N obviously not in a bad way, of course, because I think you can tell what I've been yearning for, but I, or, and I, I, I don't like doing this because I, I, double checking increases the chance 
of not having this happen, but are, are you sure? <sighs> you can't call me baby. No, 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 you're not, you're not overstepping your boundaries. Um, you can't call me baby because I will just melt into the floor right now. And if I remember correctly, you have a, you have a pair of lips that are on my face that you would like to uh, bestow some smooches upon. And if I did melt into the floor, I don't think you'd be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's get to it, I guess. It's really nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Okay, it was the that's a, a moment that's going to be ingrained in my memory forever. Come on, I I told you I'd be open and vulnerable, and I'm more at peace with myself. But I have to try and maintain a little bit of cool, at least. <sighs> So, tell me everything. Yeah, I mean, we have a couple months to catch up on. Three to be exact. Tell me everything. She is? That is amazing. Are they, are they, did they, uh... That is so cool. Uh, that is that is fantastic. I know they had been talking about wanting a king, but I I just like that's really nice.